Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install and activate a second hard drive on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by ensuring that we have our hard drive already hooked up to our computer. So whether it be an external or internal hard drive, make sure it's plugged into your computer properly. Once you've done that, you want to open up the start menu and type in format. And the best match should say create and format hard disk partitions. You want to open that up. Okay, once it's up, now in my case it's going to be a little bit different than you guys. In your case, this unallocated space should have a whole separate row down here. So I just want to put that out there, but the steps we're going to be following should be identical. So you want to just right click on the unallocated space. And then you want to left click on New Simple Volume from the context menu. And then the New Simple Volume wizard should appear. This wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk. A simple volume can only be on a single disk. To continue, click Next. Now you want to ensure the simple volume size is the same as the maximum disk space size. Once you've done that, click on Next. And now you have the option to assign the following drive letter. You can choose whatever letter you want, so long as it's not currently in use. And once you've done that, you can select Next. You want to make sure file system type is set to NTFS. And for volume label, you can name this drive whatever you want. I'm going to just keep it as new volume because I think it's pretty simple. And you want to also ensure that perform a quick format is selected. You should always do that. And then select Next. Click on Finish. And like I said, even though it currently says right next to disk zero, it's the same process if you have it underneath and you can see Windows has recognized our new volume here, our new drive. And if you went underneath this PC, we can see that it does recognize our new drive. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.